Ladies and gents, welcome to my bite size priest PvP guide for SOD. We're going to be talking about best list, we're going to be talking about talents, and we're going to be talking about runes. The gear mindset we're going to be going for is high stamina and high intellect, as there's not that much stats available on the gear. And as we don't know all the gear that is going to be available yet, there's going to be a few BOE pieces of the eagle. They're going to be higher eye level and farmed off level 30 mobs. First of all, we've got the bright eye goggles, spectral necklace of the eagle. Watcher's Mantle of the Eagle, Elder's Cloak of the Eagle, we've got the Clamwave Tunic from BFD, Ivy Cloth Braces of the Eagle, Crescent Star, then we've got Watcher's Hand Wraps of the Eagle, Gamora's Cinch, and Ivy Cloth Pants of the Eagle, we've got the Extra Planar Spider Silk Boots from BFD, then we've got Deep Fathom Ring, Plains Ring, which is very rare, then we've got Arena Grandmaster, Insignia of the Horde or Alliance, and then Dancing Flame if you're on Horde, or the BFD Wand if you're on Alliance. Keep in mind, we're not entirely sure how the BFD wand quest is going to work with the new raid. If you're not sure what talents to go for as a priest for PvP in SOD, then there's going to be a few different options, but there's going to be a main core that I think is going to be superior to everything else. And that is what we've got here in Discipline, which is five Unbreakable Will. We've got three in Imp4, two in Martyrdom, and one in Inner Focus. Now, the last five points are kind of flexible. You can put them in Blackout, you can put them in one spec, and this is going to depend on how much wand value we can actually get this remains to be seen so keep this one in mind for sure we can also put them in meditation if our mana doesn't feel that great and we feel like we want a little bit more of a boost and then the last two points most likely will go into blackout some of you have been asking about shadow in sod for pvp and honestly i'm sad to say that i think at 25 it's not going to be that viable due to the weakness of the early talents in comparison to disc and the fact that shadow of pain trains a new rank at level 26 and mind flay being quite weak early on without the supporting uh, extra damage talents that you get later on in Shadow. But most likely the build would look something like this. Unfortunately, this third point of Shadow Focus is wasted as you'll be over cap, then Mind Flay, and then you have three points extra which you can place into Unbreakable Will. As for runes for Priest in SOD, we have a few options. The main picks for PvP are gonna be either Strength of Soul or Void Plague. Void Plague is very strong and by the looks of it, quite low mana cost. Strength of Soul looks like it's gonna be really strong at higher levels, maybe not so much at level 25. My overall pick for level 25 is going to be Void Plague. For Legrune, Homunculi and Barrier definitely have good utility, but they're both situational. Prayer of Mending looks like the safe pick overall. Shared Pain certainly looks like the more offensive option. However, sadly, the Shadow of Pain rank that we have at level 25 is quite weak. My final pick is going to be Prayer of Mending. Hand Rune is very unfortunate, and there are two clear picks, and I can't decide which one, so it's going to be up to you entirely based on your own gameplay. You can either choose Penance, or you can use Shadow of Death. Both are equally insane. My final pick is going to be 